What's going on everyone? Steve with Raj from Big Dog Gotta Eat. I'm in a show with stupid questions and even stupider wings. I'm with no other than your main man, Nick Urcolato. The General, aka Ricky Fats, aka Ricky Johnstein. Before I all stop. You gotta do it. Nick, how are you with hot foods? Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm um, the worst person in the world. I don't know anyone worse than me. Same. What's a comparative? Yeah. I'm I mean, the Eddie Lacy of hot food. No, I mean you're good. No. He loves food, but he sucks at football. I've known you for almost all your life. I don't think I've ever seen you eat a flaming hot Cheeto. So I'm excited. I've been really pushing this for like about five months. Yeah. He's preying on my downfall in this. Yeah, you know, we gotta do what we have to do. Let's just go right to it. We're gonna start with Frank's Red Hot. Put that shit on everything. I don't. By the way, these wings are from Emerson Gotel, sponsored our softball team. We are undefeated. Get after it. How you feeling? I'm good on this one. All right, perfect. Is there napkins involved in this? Can I? Yeah, do that? I got the towel right there. Yeah. I don't, know the rules. don't touch your face. Don't touch your eyes. Like we don't have a big production. It's just me and Nick here. Like I didn't have to sign a waiver. Like yeah. If I go down, bury you in a Gucci slip. Well, this won't be uploaded. I guess if I die, so no one's gonna know that you killed me. Facts. Let me get to the first question. One down. How did we get here? How did our life bring us? To eating wings on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> on Friday afternoon, how did we get here? Well, you actually lived, we're in Teaneck, New Jersey right now. Cheers. The hood of all hoods. He drank, just uh, for the record, he drank water before I did. I'm parched. We're gonna put that on the record. Your boy's parched. He ain't parched, he ain't shit. So we're in Teaneck, New Jersey. That's where he was born and bred. In the middle of our hot on the challenge. You come in, do your thing, live your life. Yeah, this is what we do. We're live interactive, we're always improv. Anyways, I'm in Emerson, he's in Teaneck. He moves to Emerson. Right, it's all white people. He's not used to that. He sees me coming down the hallway. What was I singing? Basketball is my favorite sport. I like it when you down the court. That's what he said. I said, I like this guy. I like this guy. And I was like, I like you too, dog. We've been best friends ever since. How did we get here? We started the YouTube channel. Well, I started the YouTube channel like two and a half years ago. We did the first food challenge, 10,000 calories. I failed. Back by, yeah, he failed. I won. Also put that on the record. And I just want to let you know, the reason I failed, because Nick did quit and I left to go to my girlfriend's house. It's 24 then, hours. I didn't quit. He quits and he's going to bed and then he comes to my girlfriend's house with Derek Queen saying he's finished and then I had nothing left. Dude. I'm a savage. I'm cutthroat. So yeah. you got to be in this business. Yeah. And yeah, we need to do another food challenge. So that's how we got here. He knows I suck at spicy things. So he wanted to see my downfall on camera. It ain't going to happen today though. Number two. This number two. These wings are extremely cold by the way. This is Sweet Baby Ray's. Not bad. Light work. Light work. I don't want to really kill you. I yeah. want to do a little bit of questions. Sure, I finished. Mm. You don't even understand where we're about to go. We're going into hell. I think that house was named Hell. I'm fucking dominating this. Ooh. I'm dominating. Oh wow, you see him? He's getting cocky. Can't too cocky. Let's go. Second question. Nick. What's up, dude? I remember I was going to work. I was in my car, and you were like, "Steve, I'm gonna quit in six months." I was like, "Cool, man. I'll support you fully. Whatever your dreams are and aspirations." Big God's dog gotta eat wasn't even shit yet. Big God's dog gotta eat. Gave you a little prep work, gave you a little motivation, and out of nowhere, I think three days later, you're like, I just quit my job. How'd you know corporate America was it for you? You know what? I still don't know what is for me. No one really knows what they want. I think most people, you learn along the way what you don't want. And then eventually, when you start going away from things that you don't want, other doors open up for you. As long as you kind of get away from things that weigh you down, something you're not good at, or something you don't like to do, stay away from that, and then the right doors will eventually kind of open up for you. Preach. So, uh, yeah. This man in the church is preaching. I'm saying. I'm fired up. No pun intended, but I'm ready to dominate this challenge. I mean, corporate America ain't for him. He got a shirt that says unemployed. So we live in. Let's get it. When y'all sleep, we eat. Big dog gotta eat. Come right. copyright. Hot ones, if you infringe on us, we'll infringe back on your ass. Wow. All right, he feels good. I feel real good. We're going to Tabasco. He said it kind of gets you sometimes. All right, Throw so it on my ankle a little bit. Let's get to it. Tell you what. We don't put a little spice on this one. <laughs> Damn. I'm just kidding, I'm fine. Like, I'm nasty, I eat the bone marrow. I'm trying to get away with eating the least amount possible without getting yelled at. I've watched all the hot ones. I'm thirsty, I'm not feeling you the watched heat. all of them? Dude, I have a full-time job. There's like 70 of them. I have a full-time job where I just Netflix and chill all day. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. As you know, we have a lot of nicknames about everything like that. But BDGE, how to get its name? How did Big Dog I eat stick? 
So the name this was a really random one. It goes back to my college days, my youngin days, my intellectual days. Boy, if you don't stop. I was at Marist College. Shout out, great school to party at. During senior week, that one week before you graduate, you have all these events going on, whatever, bar calls, house calls. We had a beer Olympics, 84 teams. You know your boy, we had, uh, we're the Mob Avengers from Hey Arnold, that was our team name. It was me, my man Willie Walnuts, shout out Willie. Colleen, no. he says no, it's not shout out Willie Walnuts. Anyways, we had a squad of like seven or eight people. Beer Olympics, 84 teams. Fast forward, obviously your boy's in like the semifinals. Four teams left, we're chugging along, very much pun intended. Uh, we're doing boat races. Everyone's gotta chug their beers. We gotta be like 14 or 15 beers deep at this time during throughout the day, it's like 3 p.m. And uh, when we finished our beers, we just started barking. We were like, hur, hur. and I yelled like, big dog's gotta eat, right? And from that moment on, we just kept yelling it for the rest of the day. And I was like, big dog's gotta eat. Hur, 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 hur. And we kept doing it and we ended up winning the chip, right? We took home the 84 team Beer Olympic World Championship of the world. Of Marist. Of the world. And uh, from there, you know, I just wanted to get a name that I felt like kind of uh, encapsulated my life. I feel like it kind of intertwines play hard, work hard. You know what I mean? If you want to be a big dog, you got to eat. I'm saying. That's it. I didn't even know that. Learn something new every day. That's where it comes from, baby. Shit. All right. How you feeling? I don't even see a sweat on your nose. Nah, I'm good. All right. My pores are going to start running soon enough. We got Roger next. You know what's crazy? Like, when I lived in this house, like, we had Sriracha, like, no one knew about it. Before it blew up? Like, I'm talking 10 years before. You're talking, so you're like a Sriracha hippie. I'm not gonna like, say. Like, you pissed at people who like Sriracha now? I am. I feel it. God, man, this one you're gonna have to look at the computer a little bit. <clears throat> they do the segment called Explain That Gram. Uh, I did a deep dive on Instagram last night. But Nick, Explain That Gram. This man <laughs> is full of pancake mix. <laughs> On the floor, it ain't you, this guy got a big back. Damn. What the hell's going on here? Well that's, uh, we're gonna have to go back to college again. That's my junior year, I think. One night, you know, we're out clubbing, doing our thing. Probably dipping Oreos in our shots of vodka because that's how we used to ball back in the day. We get back, I don't really remember who he was even wrestling. I think it was James. Two of my friends get in a big ass wrestling match. They're wrestling for like an hour straight. We're over it at that point. We're like, stop pumping each other. So, we went downstairs in the kitchen. Like, we couldn't get them off of each other. Let's just fuck this whole thing up, right? So we got a thing of pancake mix and we started dumping it all over them. Before we know it though, it's on him. It's all over our fucking rooms. It's all in the kitchen, all over the house and everything. I don't think that uh, that ever got them off of each other still. They still going? Yeah, I think they... I Look think at we, all that glue. <laughs> it's just, just a fun weird, night. Just weird, weird night. Weird, weird night. night. Definitely weirder than fun. I feel like in college we wouldn't even have made pancakes, so it still got you. You know, like, Very at true. least that box yeah, got you. Like, who the fuck makes pancakes? Like, who's gonna wake up? Who got time for that? Who's not dead? All right, man. You look, you look young as shit in this pig. That's pretty beard. And you got your main man over there, Kangaroo Jack. And that caption says, the name's Ricky. That's a bad man. That's a bad caption. I was studying abroad in Australia. I just went out to Burger King. They call it, what's the name out there? I don't know. Well, this guy was standing in line next to me at Burger King. He introduced me. I introduced him to my friends. We got along well. That's pretty beard, Ricky. I also go by the name Ricky Johnstein. Figured, why not name him Ricky as well? We're both big dogs. We're both beasts. He looks hot as hell. You, you think, think uh, kangaroos would find it disrespectful if you called them a dog? Or you think they'd be pumped up about it? Let me tell you shit about kangaroos. Kangaroos are like, I'm serious. They're like the deer of Australia. No one likes those motherfuckers. It's like Alaska. No one likes eagles. Really? Yeah, they're like pigeons. Why? They're everywhere eating at like, dumpsters. Deer suck in America. If you don't buy the woods, you don't know that, but they suck. Kangaroos are like, they look cool and they can hop and shit, but they're ugly as shit. They're annoying. I don't know. I'm over kangaroos, but he was my boy for the day though. The last one. Oh, that's back. That's, bike, 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 bike in the day. That's that. I'm half these people, I'm pretty sure are dead. What's happening? I see I a bass, I see a slap bag. This is a full horseman type of night. That brings it back to Seaside. That's high school days. Go down in the Sea Breeze, man. RIP Sea Breeze. Not there no more? Yeah, probably there. Mm -hmm. Figured we might have shut it down last time. <laughs> we just rented out a room in a terrible motel in Seaside. It's what we did best in high school. And we did a picture of the hour, I remember. Every hour on the hour, we would take an Instagram picture of us just being reckless as hell. But that was just us. Having good times, being dudes, being guys, drinking beers. I think someone's got a bottle. I appreciate that to you. Yeah, we're just doing the damn thing, living life, hopefully getting laid. Why not? Why not? Next one. Pumped up, we got through explain that brain. I thought, uh. You know what? You would compose yourself on Instagram. Did you do get famous? You're like, good. Your yeah. Twitter might not be. You can't explain that Twitter. Text Pete. Alright. As you're eating, so you can get a little bit of time. As you know, I do not do fantasy football. I know nothing about fantasy football. 
what you told me, I, I mean, maybe I can get slide by, but I'm saying, Nick, I call you five minutes before I'm walking into a draft. Man. You gotta give me five things I need to just remember to hopefully save my season when you tell me. I'm telling you, don't draft Eddie Lacy. I'm telling you, you gotta wait on a quarterback. You gotta wait on a tight end. You pick them. You pick that dudes late. I think number three, very underrated, is you gotta bring the right fuel. See, I'm a, I'm a monster donut kind of guy. Okay. That's my combo during drafts. You gotta figure out what's right for you. I would also say don't booze up, don't get high. Okay. I did the booze thing one time. Ended up taking Maurice Jones Drew over Calvin Johnson one year. I was here, Calvin Johnson went for like 2,100 yards, broke every record in the book. I'm gonna blame it on the booze. How many was that? One, two, three, four. Let's get one more. I'm walking in right now. Walking into the draft right now. By the goddamn big dogs gotta eat fantasy football draft guide. Wow! Didn't even think he was gonna advertise that. How you feeling? I don't like to promo myself. How you feeling? You good? Mm -hmm. Gucci over here. Alright, next one. Porsche Brand. This is from yours truly, Kevin Baby. Heath! She said she wanted a yeah. shout out. Heath, I got you. We're on the uh, the roasted garlic hot sauce Porsche Brand. Alright. I like roasted garlic. I'm a big fan of garlic. Alright, that's I don't awesome. know if this is gonna be good. I think we might have to put a little more. I think this dried out, to be honest with you. Yeah. All uh, right, Nick. This is a shout out to uh, our favorite biggest fan, Sheldon Krabs. Oh, oh, oh it's for you, Sheldon. If Steen, Brandon, and myself. Sam, we're gonna about to do these personal best friend cards. Right are now. in a burning building. You can save one, they get no scratches. Second person you bring out, loses a leg. Third person you bring out, loses all limbs, but you have to be responsible for, for the rest of your life. Who and why? All right, so first person's unscathed, second person loses a leg, Yeah. third person but, comes away no limbs, you gotta take care of yeah, them. Yeah, but they're like perfectly fine mentally. You're you're number one by default. I've saved you unscathed. Yeah. And then I just tell you for the rest of your life that you owe me wow. a lot. Mm -hmm. Number two, Brandon loses his leg easy because I think he would enjoy that. I feel like there's a lot of dance moves he can interpret, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of stanky leg kind of mm -hmm. shit going on with Brandon. So he could take number two. Number three would be Steen. Steen, I want you to take this in the least disrespectful way possible. <laughs> but I know you enjoy your time on the couch. Like, you've been chilling in the wheelchair. A lot of good TV programs nowadays. Netflix is Netflix, baby. You don't need like You gotta feed him. You don't need arms for that. You gotta wipe him. Is he paying for the food or am I? Like, no, you're, it's, he, you're his, he's yours now. Like, Sam. Yeah. Whatever. You can't change it now, but you got Steen for like, you gotta go poo poo. Whoa. Yeah. I take the you messed up. When you, when you edit this, I wanted you to show Steen. I wanted you to show Lacey. Okay. I'm so still sticking by that. I'm and I just wanna let you know, Sheldon, you see what happens? You can ask all these fucking questions on Sunday live streaming. Your boy got out. No scratches on it. You can get the hot seat next time. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put, we're just gonna dab him. I know it's the last dab we're supposed to do, but I don't think I really mixed them that too well. And I'm getting kind of pissed that you're not dying yet. This. White rabbit hot sauce. You know when like you have a friend that you're close with and they do weird stuff and then you just find out they made crystal meth for like five years in that basement? Yeah, that's our friend Nick Goriel. You know, he had a great job and he was like, fuck it. He's like you, just quit his job. He's in San Diego. Before he left, he brought us this hot sauce. I gotta tell you, it's great. Let me have it, guys. Come on, bring it out. It's all organic. These will be made. These will be for sale. From his garden. Zoom in on it. Focus. White Rabbit hot sauce. My boy Nicholas just moved out to San Diego. Is going to be selling these things. And whenever he figures that out, I'll I'll, I'll promo him on the channel. You just do a little schmear, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. And Steve made the wings like 15 minutes ago or so. He shook them up in the bag. They might have lost a little spice. You know? So we're just going to dab out the rest of them. How you feel? Nothing. Damn. I'm good. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Feeling a little bit. I see the little saliva, the yeah. When I saw, oh, oh, yeah, I feel yeah. the nose is nasal burning. drip a little bit. Yeah, when all I right. eat hot food, my all my shit gets messed up. That's what's up. So <laughs> go. All right. So in five years, where where do you where do you want the BDGE platform to be? How big do you want it, or where do you want it to go? It's a good question. You here I, for the fame, or you here for the long term? What are you trying to do? To be honest, kind of goes back to my question before. You asked like, how did we get here? And I think it. uh I think it's more to do with knowing what you don't want than knowing exactly what you do want. My goals change on like a month to month basis, right? So I'm gonna keep grinding along. And I mean, the whole reason I'm doing this is for freedom flexibility. So I'll keep the marketing thing up as long as I can, you know, live my life and that pays for it. All this stuff on the side is just for fun, hobby, passion. I don't know, I wanna keep growing the YouTube thing till uh, I'm financially sound enough that I can maybe put out sex tape and not get in trouble for it. 
You know, I'm me up when you do that. I want to be big enough to do some ruthless shit on camera and not get in trouble. But That's isn't it. that kind of like the flip side? Like, if you're that big, you're going to get in trouble. Like, now if you did that, no, you're not getting in trouble. Well, no. I mean, now if I did it, it's like that would assure me I would never be able to go another direction. Oh, so you're okay. So you, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I want to be so well off on my own, yeah. like so independent like, that I don't care what. Put the your penis on Steen's head and no one's saying shit. That's what I'm saying. You got that funny. That's money. what I'm saying. Yeah, I got funny money. I got slap a lawyer money and then sign him up as my lawyer. Kind wow. Of Damn. <laughs> Silly OU. All right. Yo, this is some bullshit. Now we're getting to like hot sauces that his Haitian grandmother gave him. This ain't, I don't have it. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. I work with this nice lady, Sharon. Shout out Sharon. Her sister makes hot sauces. And like literally, I just asked for the hottest hot sauce she has, and there's no ingredients on it. It just says hot sauce spicy. When like they don't really advertise shit and they just say like. Like it's not sold in stores. Yeah, it's just like death. Yeah, or it's hot. Stuff. And when it's like poop colored, that's when you know. This one burns when it comes out. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the one I was like ball. licking, like my. Oh, like, and you were going that. Yeah, all right, buddy. Little don't fucking call me buddy before we do this. <laughs> you made me do this, and you're gonna fucking put Karen's fucking hot death sauce on me. <laughs> don't smile at me. Oh! I'm so scared. <laughs> my eyes are sweating. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck you. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm sweating out of my eyes right now. Don't touch him. Ooh, this one got me. Oh. I think my eyes are gonna run <laughs> back in my head. Kelly and Aaron, if you remember that time in Australia when we ate that beef jerky on the boardwalk and sprinted down <laughs> uh, and sprinted down the boardwalk to try to find liquid, I think that would be right after this one. I think it was hotter than the beef jerky. Yeah. Okay. Hotter. Than I'm gonna uh, lift my fingers. Damn. That was a good idea. <laughs> All right. So you got about 5,005 followers. Yeah. Now a little more, a little less, right? You know, they probably see your vlogs. They probably see that you know you're out here trying to do what you're trying to do. But you're maybe giving them the courage to, to do something they're passionate about. So what advice can you give them to just go for their dreams without without being scared? Yeah, I would say uh, just start. You gotta think of anyone that you're inspired by, and you gotta think where they started. Every single person starts at nothing. You know what I mean? The beginning stages are definitely the scariest in terms of mentally thinking about it, right? And like worrying about other people, and like it's just gonna work. Should I waste my time? What does he think? She think? Whatever. Then after that, it's all just hard work. It goes from mental for the first like year or two to physical, where it's just like a lot of work. I would say the one piece of advice is just start. Like people are always waiting for the perfect timing for things, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I just want to finish school or I just want to get this much money. You just got to take a leap of faith and know that you'll be able to push your push yourself to the limits. If you want to start a YouTube channel or something, you don't need a thousand dollar camera. You don't need good setup. Take your goddamn iPhone out, put your face on the screen and talk. You got to give valuable content. Otherwise, ain't no one going to come to your damn channel. That's it. Just start. That's all I can say. All right. Start and be valuable. So these two, I'm gonna put them in front now. I have not tried either or. The last dab is from Hot Ones YouTube channel. Check them out. One is my mom went to El Salvador, brought this back, haven't even opened it. When I was shaking it, something happened and it's a chemical reaction and it started shooting out. This so, is like that fucking voodoo witchcraft. Yeah, so we'll see how it tastes. I don't really know, so I'm, I'm a little scared. Whatever 100,000 Scoville means to you guys. Alright, so. Um, this is when I get nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm shook. Stop, why is it bubbling? It's not my jummy. <laughs> it's not my jummy. Who used to say, oh, did you know what that's that? Yeah. I don't take more, I don't know. I don't want to fraud out. Yeah, you're gonna, you ain't gonna fraud out then. My nose is running. No, oh my god. Alright, this is where I think it all goes downhill. Alright. I'm scared, Alex. Can you hold my hand? <laughs> What's that bet? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just really sweaty, like in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. For this one. Go, don't mind my <laughs> uh, For this one? You I fucking hate these questions, go. You go. All right, Nick, you're in the building. You're in the lobby. You're going in the elevator. The door's closing, hands right there, opens it up. It's Gary fucking B. He's by himself. You're going to floor 16, he's going to floor 18. You have one minute. Pitch him wise investment, big dog out of eat. Go. Gary B. 
One, you're a piece of shit. I think I would grab his attention if I said that. Okay. Time. Two, say, Gary, I'd probably say, why are you looking like this? Yeah. Okay, I just ate a fuckload of wings. Don't put your eyes. Ah, shit. I tell him how much he inspires me. Then I say, I don't even know what I say. I feel like I'd be super starstruck. I know, you can just go. This is your pitch, your fight song. Katy Perry, let's go. I'd be like, listen, Gary, I'm getting off on the 16th floor. You're getting off on the 18th floor. Why don't we go to the 17th floor together? I got something magical to show you. I don't know if he'll buy that. You never know. It's, it's, fucking it's deep. the mystery. He'd probably be like, I don't have time for this bullshit. Damn. He sees it in your eyes. I feel like he, yeah, I feel like he'd see it. I feel like I'd be like, listen, Gary. No, don't, you gotta cover that. Why? Don't show him that. Why? <laughs> you'd be like, you don't give a fuck. I'd be like, exactly. Let's go. Like, we're fucking boys. He's... So, Gary, can I come up to the 18th floor you go? Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> All right, Nick. How you feeling? This is the last one. My mouth was hurting for a little while. I yeah. That last one, but I, I'm good to go. All right, so. The let's, last let's dab it up. Let's like really do this one. Really? Let's do it you up. You want to like get bad. You want like, me to let's put it on the wings and stuff. Yeah, put it on the wings and then dab it up. Damn. Like, like they don't do that on the show. I mean, I'm down for it. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm going to do mine. First, I'm going to dab it. I already put it on. Dab yours. It's like mustard. It, it has a little mustard, they say. So they say. It's, yeah, it's thick. Yeah, I don't want it to like. That good? Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. But, All right, so we're we're putting a lot more than Sean Evans does with his. Yeah, ass. y'all ain't shit. I just want to let you know it doesn't matter about how many followers you got. It's about the heart that you have. So we dabbed it. We're gonna smear it. We're gonna smear the double dabber. Nick, it was a pleasure. I'll see you on the other side. Oh shit! It's gonna affect me. Ah, damn. Yeah. I love you, dog. Oh shit! Ho 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 ho! I need like a spit bottle. What? Oh, saliva is just not gonna stop coming out. Terry Cruz! Ah! Okay, you do that. Oh man, it's hot. This hey. is. I'll tell you what. Huh. <laughs> this is like the. Uh, I can't even talk. <sighs> oh shit! Oh my god, <laughs> dude. dude! This is real. Oh, it's getting worse. I think I need to. <laughs> Don't fall. No, do you have? Okay. I got, well, this is the last question. So we got here. All right. I'm gonna say some around some things off to you. Okay. You're gonna tell me what's overrated and what's underrated and why. Love this. Okay, so Dunkin' Donuts Krispy Kreme. Oh my god. Wait, what? Like which one's overrated? Which one's underrated and why? To you. Dunkin' Donuts underrated. Flavor. Flavors of coffee. A lot of mix and match. The donuts are good, but you gotta. <laughs> you gotta get here. <laughs> Those are your eyes. You gotta get there like by 8 a.m. or else they're not fresh. Krispy Kreme's rated just right. They're the shit. <laughs> I'm crying, dog. I'm crying, dog. All right, all right, all right. All right. Go. Okay. All right. Krispy Kreme, great, great donuts. <laughs> Bars and clubs. Uh, clubs so overrated. If you're over the age of 18, you shouldn't even be in a club. Bar, bars underrated because you could actually talk to people. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Just go. Okay, Marks and Monster. Oh my god, so underrated. Marks and Monster are the life fuel. Dude, I would kill someone for a Mark right now. It's still, Mark season ended. And Monster. <laughs> like two months ago. Uh, last one. Go. Single Steve, take it Steve. <laughs> Single Steve, take it Steve. Single Steve, probably underrated for the amount of ridiculous things you've done in your lifetime. I've, oh, seen, I I've seen this man chug a half a bottle of vodka, Single Steve. I've seen him break a glass over his face, a plate over his face. I've seen him throw up from smoking too much weed. You gotta edit that out? I'll edit it say crack. <laughs> I've seen him uh, do a lot of bad things, single Steve. Underrated single Steve. Taking Steve, great guy. He's not on the same playing field. Out of respect to Heath, I'm not gonna say overrated. 
I'm gonna say rated perfect. Great gentleman. Actually, fucking overrated. Because <laughs> he makes me do shit like this. I would, and then I he's like, pass out. and then he's like, <sighs> he gets on a high horse. He's like, you gotta do this shit. Do it for the people. But I know he just wants me to do reckless things because he's taking Steve. You're fucking overrated. You're fucking overrated. <laughs> You're under overrated and single taken. I just hate that time. Nick, you made it through the tender wings. I am actually proud of you. Am I alive? <laughs> You're, you, I would think we're dead. Are we on Earth? But you made Ooh. it through. Better than I thought. You went with the last dab. Give it to me. Dab me up. With the dab. Nick, this is your plug. Ooh. That camera. Not that camera. This camera. That one. Tell the people what you got. Tell the people what you got going on. It's crazy that I get to plug my own plug. So this is my YouTube channel. I have nothing to plug here. Except probably my butthole later. <laughs> Just watch my other videos. Steph's here. The games are over. I hope you guys can hate this video. It, I hated it, making it. it again and again and again. We need more food challenges. Just give us what you got. Yeah, let us know. I like that. Well, give us what you got. Give us what you got. I got no plugs. I can't plug myself because people are watching already my plugs. You plug them. Damn, plug them. What I got going on? I got a full-time job. Man, what the hell are you doing? I got a part-time gig with Nick at Big Dog Gotta Eat. Yeah, he's almost on great. salary. Almost. I'm number one intern, $7. He's intern number one. one. Anyone trying to intern at Big Dog's Gotta Eat, send me your resume. Hope you guys enjoyed. We love you. I disagree with that statement. And I'll Snapchat you when Nick takes a shit, because it's going to come out one way or another. I love y'all. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah, she was...